before you get out on the road, you want to look at your bike. So number one is look at the tire pressure of your tires. Usually you want the front tire about five pounds less than the back tire. You also want to make sure that your set screw is tight because if this thing loosens up, you could actually lose a tire. Uh, you want to make sure that your brakes are working. So you want to spin your tire and make sure that it's working. You can spin your back too with the back tire and make sure they're both functioning the brakes. I see a lot of cyclists out there at night without lights. Not a good thing. You have to have the uh, white light in the front and a red light in the back from sunset to sunrise. So another safety feature you want to have is a helmet. And you want it to have this MIPS, Multiple Impact System. It's a new way to help protect your brain in case you fall off your bike or hit. So how does a helmet fit properly? You put it on, not too tight, not too loose. You make sure there's a V here and a V here. You strap it in. And if you can open your mouth and feel it, then it's right. I see a lot of cyclists, especially younger kids, riding around with their helmets up like this, up like this, not a good thing. Always get that helmet straight and make sure it fits to protect your brain. I think the statistics are 75% of the brain injuries could have been avoided if you had a helmet on. You might want to put some electrolytes into that water bottle. This is actually a new system. You can use your water bottle for all your tire changing equipment, which all comes into here. I also have a pump here in case all else fails. So before I go and ride, I'm gonna change into sunglasses for eye protection. If something bad happens in a, when you're riding the bike, you can call people, but you're always gonna need this. So I have a little device or a little bag and I'm ready to roll. When you're out on a bike ride, it's advisable to get what we call a road ID. And this identifies you in, as numbers to call in case you need help off the bike. So always carry it with you. You can look it up on the internet. It's called road ID.